Florence and Pharrell's time travel extravaganza uh, to the Virgo vortex and beyond. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say that while you're talking, I'm like listening to you and watching <laughs> and feeling what you're saying, but I'm noticing that like whenever you talk, you kind of look up as if it's ethereal. Like, <laughs> see? So here's my question. So let me ask you a really bugged out crazy question. So do you think this is your first time on this planet? <laughs> <laughs> your, your energy and the gnosis that you have about yourself is a little bit different than most people. I feel, You're connected to something. I, when, I, when I'm performing and when I'm singing, I feel very like it's not really 100% me that's in charge okay. or whatever. I know that there is another state that I go into, like even See. preparing to perform. I wouldn't be able to say what that was. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's definitely something that's going on there that seems to be like that I get lost in but it me doesn't mean that I'm so lost because I feel very there mm -hmm. it's weird it's like being really myself and then being somewhere else all at the same time so I never feel most kind of with everyone and most like I'm disappearing when I'm on stage it's a very strange feeling and sometimes I can't really remember whole performances and stuff I feel like when I'm watching you you get this like hypnotic look on your uh, on your face that is connected to what's happening yeah that's it's like you feel the energy of everyone and you know especially performing outside you know if you can see the kind of the landscape and the sky you know it's an idea of there's a real sense of like you know oneness mm -hmm. um that i think is what i'm really trying to achieve in a performance